Hi, my name is Chris Wade, and I'm a contractor in the city of Los Angeles. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a single knob faucet. Most of the time when you want to replace a, a single knob shower faucet is because you want to go with a new look. Um, the important thing you want to find out is what the manufacturer is um, of your uh, shower faucet. Um, most of the time you have to go with the same manufacturer, just mostly due to whole uh, lineup. First thing you want to do is pull out the cover on top on the knob and use something you know, quite pointy and sharp so you can just get back out there and pop it off. Inside there is going to be a single nut and again you always want to shut off the water before you do anything like this. Uh, you want to undo the screw that holds the knob onto the shower valve. Pull that off and then you want to first unscrew the beauty ring and then you want to get in here and you want to undo the escutcheon plate which basically uh, is the large trim piece that goes up against the wall. Uh, most of the time it's a very long screw and as you can see I'm just going and going and going and going and still not even out. Um, so just taking that off or you can grab a screw gun gently put it in there and it'll come out a lot faster. And then just pull this piece out and this is basically the second portion of the uh, discussion plate. It just pops in, however. Now, uh, the new one is basically just going to be the reverse of uh, taking the old one off. Uh, you want to put this piece in first. Just get that back in there until it stops. Then you want to put your discussion plate on. And just remember to line up the holes into the rough end valve. Uh, like I said, it's very important that you find the one that fits your rough end valve. As you can see, these two nuts or nuts or bolts um, are at a diagonal because that's how it's set up on the rough end valve. Some of them are uh, um, three o'clock and nine o'clock. Some of them are straight up and down. You just want to find the one that fits yours. Then you just want to get your, your second nut in and just basically uh, you don't want to cinch down too hard on it when you put it back in especially if you're going to be using a, a mechanical device you want to just finish it off with a hand screwdriver and just tighten it down just like finger tight then you want to put this slide this back in until it's snug Put your handle back on. Make sure it's lined up with the uh, stem. Just kind of turn it until you get it. And then just screw this back on. Make sure it's a little tight. Put your cap back on. That's pretty much how you would do a uh, single knob uh, shower valve. And again, most of the time you're just going to do it because you want to change the looks or something is broke on it. And um, that's how you do it.